الحمد لله. Certain verses where it be uh, nine five, where obviously I'm not a scholar, but when it says things like when the most sacred months has passed, slay the idolaters wherever you find them and take them captive, besiege them, prepare for them in, in ambush. But if they repent, when you read that, that sounds synonymous with terrorism. Okay, let, 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 I'll do that. Uh, let's talk about, uh, uh, still talking about perceptions of uh, Muslims as terrorists. Uh, when terrorists strike, the first thing they talk about is being divinely ordained to do that. Is it not uh, a misinterpretation from the, from the Islamic teachers to achieve their political gains? Oh, not at all. Um, if you look at Michael uh, Shua, who's uh, former head of the Osama bin Laden unit, CIA, he says that the, mo the, the main and almost the most primary and overriding grievance is Western foreign policy. Of Osama bin Laden, Bruce, uh, Professor Bruce Lawrence of Duke University wrote a book on the statements of Osama bin Laden, and yet again he said that Osama bin Laden's primary gripe and only gripe is really the foreign policy of the Western powers. And religion, like what religion does in any society, religion just underwrites whatever those values or perceptions or motivations of that society is. So if people want to launch a crusade, you can say you can, you can do it for money, wealth, power, and then just say, and God wills it, and the, you know, that's the underwriting it. But that's what religion does. Religion's always been hijacked for the, the purposes of various political factions. And I'll, I'll make a point. Um, I am a follower of the quote-unquote seventh century Islam, which I, I don't, there's no different century Islam, there's only one Islam. And it, it doesn't tell me to go and uh, force convert non-Muslims. I'm, I'm Portuguese in origin, the ancestry in Portugal, and as well, also Carlos is also Spanish in origin. We tell you that our history is Muslims, Christians, and Jews living side by side together in peace and harmony. And it wasn't no subjugation or humiliation. This is uh, false. Our, my organization has challenged the EDL to debate us on what Islam means. And his misquoting of text just now is, why don't you continue reading that text? It, it was talking about a specific historical situation where pagan Arab tribes were breaking their peace treaties with the Muslims, killing the Muslims, and the Quran said, right, for these tribes, um, you know, slay the, their soldiers wherever you find them. And then it goes, for those who have remained true to their covenant, then maintain that covenant with them. And it, even then, for those who ask for safety, then escort them to, to a place of safety for pagan Arabs. So continue reading that Quran. Don't just give us sound bites, Tommy, because it's very misleading. You're misleading your own uh, people.